uh, I want to welcome to the sports train two members of Team USA in the sport of luge. A big sports train welcome to Aaron Hamlin and Kate Hansen. Ladies, do I have you on the line from France? Yes, you do. We're glad to be here. They're here. Well, thank you so much. It's great to have you here. Uh, just introduce your sport a little bit. Uh, let's talk in general before we get to sp uh, specifics. Give you both a shot. I want to speak to Aaron first, if I may. Aaron, just a, a quick introduction. You're 27 years old. This is your third Olympic game, so somewhat of a veteran of Team USA Luge. You're a native of New York. I know that means you train in nearby Lake Placid, and you're coming off a fourth-place finish at the recent World Cup event in Latvia. Aaron, as you go into your third Olympic Games, just your overall thoughts about representing your country once again in this dynamic sport. Yeah, I'm really excited. Even though it's the third time around, I don't think it loses any of its luster. I'm still pumped to go, and it maybe even is a little bit more exciting because I never really thought I'd be going to three Olympics, so it's pretty crazy. Um, but, yeah, being able to represent the U.S. is awesome, and it's an honor, and um, it's going to be really exciting when we actually get to Sochi and we get to be in the village with all the other athletes and everyone kind of comes together as as a whole um, behind Team USA, and it's a lot of fun. And I'm really looking forward to it, and I definitely am the veteran of the team. I am kept young by the other athletes. They're all um, A lot of them are going into their first game, so it's pretty exciting for all of us. And Aaron, as you go into your third Olympics, uh, coming off a 12th place finish in Turin, 16th in uh, Vancouver in women's singles performance, we know you had a strong run last week. I just mentioned that with a fourth overall finish. And I think you finished uh, sixth or seventh in World Cup competition as a whole during the last season. Aaron, do you feel as you enter these Sochi games, this is your, uh, you're at the top performance of your career and ready to compete? Uh, do you feel that you're going into these games with a lot of momentum and hopefully achieving success? Um, I actually would probably say going into the Vancouver games was probably um, I was a little bit more on top of my game maybe. Um, I had come off of world winning championship, winning world championships in 2009, and that season um, going into the games I had gotten on the podium a few times and it was my best, my best season of my career. So... Um, I think that one had seemed to be like the time where if there was going to be, you know, my my golden shot to get on the podium, that might have been it. Um, I things were just snowballing in the right direction, and I had a great a great season. Um, from then until now, I kind of had a little bit of a, a dip in, in the results. I didn't have the best seasons. I had to adjust to a lot of of new things, and um, I guess. You know, every career has to have kind of a downswing, and that was the first time I'd ever gone backwards. So I had to come back from that, which I feel a lot better about now. Um, I definitely have had um, better seasons these past two years, and this season alone, yeah, I was I finished in the top ten all but one race. So um, I can look at that as, as a good accomplishment. And um, going into the games, I have my best finish of the season. Definitely feels good. Um, you know, I can always find mistakes and stuff that I would like to improve upon. So I think that's just the, the curse of being an athlete. But, um, yeah, I, I feel good, and um, I like the track in Sochi. So uh, I'm definitely confident going in, so we will see what happens. Talking with Aaron ha Hamlin, USA Olympian in the forthcoming Sochi Games in the sport of luge. Aaron, if we could continue for just a few more minutes here with some questions, I want to ask you how you come to the sport of luge. Uh, we know it's a specialized sport with only a handful of tracks around the world, a couple here in America. You're a New York resident, so obviously winter sports were a big part of your story growing up. But how is it that you come as an athlete to this dynamic sport of the luge? USA Luge actually hosts um, these clinics around the country every summer where they put kids ages 8 or 10 to around 14 on really basic sleds, and they have wheels on them, so they kind of can learn the really, you know, basic concept of steering a sled and how to control it. And after doing that, they kind of screen kids and see if um, anybody shows potential. And I attended one of those when I was 12 years old in Syracuse, New York, Kind of on a whim, I had no like preconceived idea to be a luge athlete someday. Um, it was completely random, 
and I got picked up into the program through that, and then from there, invited to Lake Placid to learn more about it, get on the actual track, and really just get a taste for what the sport really is, and they pick kids from there who show potential to go into the development program. So I did that, and I guess, yeah. And as you approach Almost your sport... 14 years later, I'm here, so I guess it was a, a good choice. It certainly worked out well for you. Aaron. as you approach your sport, we know there's a lack of equipment. Obviously, it's more an athlete. You have the sled, of course. But it would seem to me that this is a sport, while, while a large part of it is physical, there's a lot of mental preparations that have to go into this, knowing that just the slightest twist or turn or mistake uh, not only could cost you big time in terms of your speed, but also any time you have these exhilarating speeds, there's also an element of danger uh, that you tackle with each run. How do you approach uh, the sport of luge in, in your professional career from a mental point of view when you get on that, that course that you know you can give the best run you're capable of? I think you called that really well. I mean, our sport is definitely physical, but I think such a huge part of finding success in it is mental. And, you know, we have a pretty a pretty long learning curve. And when we first start as kids, um, we are sent on the track at a very low spot. So out of maybe 19 curves, we will maybe only um, – go on six or seven of them to start. So the speeds aren't as high as they are that we compete at at an elite level. So it's a very long process. And as you kind of get used to get used to going down the track, um, you slowly work your way up and go faster and faster. So by the time we are going at the speed that people are, are familiar with, with the sport of luge there, you know, we've been going, you know, little by little, a little bit faster every time. So you get used to it. You know, our bodies kind of adapt to reacting at those speeds. And it, as far as the mental side of it, we have been, you know, slowly going higher and higher on the track. So it's not like they just take us to the top and we're, like, terrified and, okay, have fun. Um, it's kind of a gradual process. So I think you, you, it's something you get used to. So for us, mentally, sitting on the handles, yeah, sometimes you get nervous, sometimes on tracks that are a little bit more difficult or they're not your favorite places to slide, you can kind of get – butterflies and you are hesitant sometimes but overall once you go down you you have that confidence because you've been you know most of us have been doing it for so long um it's such an experience-based sport that um it's almost i mean it sounds really weird to say that it's normal to us to be going those speeds on tracks and barely looking but it, it is and you know it's just like any other learned skill um, it becomes just second nature. And with that comfort at those speeds, it makes it a lot easier mentally to pull off the handles at the start and know that you'll be okay going down. One last question for Erin Hamlin before we talk to her teammate Kate Hansen. They're both athletes and Olympians getting ready for the Sochi Games here on the sports train. Erin, it's getting a lot of attention here at home. Obviously, the selection of, of the Sochi site, a little bit controversial uh, in terms of the larger issue of, of the location and safety. But also, this is a town that didn't have a long tradition of winter sports. Everything had to be assembled from the ground up. I want to ask you a question. How familiar are you with the sliding center in particular? And do you feel comfortable with it? And also just the games as a whole as you get ready to go to Russia. Any, uh, any concerns that you feel might take you off the single-minded focus on winning a gold in luge? And in the sport of luge, since there's only 16 or 17 tracks that we compete on worldwide, um, most places that do get awarded the games these days, they, even though um, like skiing or, or speed skating, stuff like that can be held in facilities that already exist, um, we generally always need a new one if it's not in a place that's hosted the games before. So we're kind of used to having to adapt to new tracks. Um, but as far as the one in Sochi goes, it opened – a few years ago, so we've spent quite a lot of time there. I think last season, as a whole, we ended up spending something like five weeks there, four or five weeks. Um, so we've definitely had training on it, but it is still a new track for us. We haven't, you know, it's not one of the ones that we can go to and be super familiar with because we haven't been on it as much as others. But um, it is, it's not an extremely difficult track, so it was pretty easy to figure out um, how to get down safely. Um, getting down fast is going to be the big kicker for the games because um, it is easy to get down. Um, all the little details are going to be important, but as a whole, you know, because we are, there are certain, a, a certain number of 
of training weeks and training runs that we're required to have before the Olympics, and we've had all of those. So um, I don't feel like I'm, you know, lacking in comfort when I'm going to that track. Um, I'm excited to get back there. As a whole, um, with going to, to Russia, we've spent – we have competed the outside of Moscow. There's a track there. Um, we've competed there a couple of times, and now this will be, I think, our fourth time going to Sochi. And every one of them has, you know, we've never had a, a sketchy situation come up. Um, you know, there has been a lot of construction, so I won't say they've all been the most comfortable trips to Russia, but um, they've all been, you know, very successful. We've gotten great training in. Um, the weather, while it hasn't always been good for winter sports, it's always been really enjoyable because it's been nice and sunny and warm. So um, that's that's actually nice. But I think as a whole, I have I don't I don't have any um, I don't hesitate at all to go at all. Um, I feel like we'll be completely fine, and um, I think it'll be no problem. Great answer. We're certainly rooting for you, Aaron, here on the sports train. I thank you for your time as we switch over to talk with your teammate. Also training there in France, getting ready for the Sochi Games, and that is Kate Hansen. Want to give a quick introduction? A 21-year-old athlete. This will be her first Olympic Games competing in the sport of luge, along with her teammate Aaron Hamlin, who we just heard from. Kate Hansen, new to the sport, but already racking up some big accomplishments, topped, of course, by January 25th, just a couple of days ago, she takes a first-place finish at an event in Latvia, World Cup event, and it turns out to be the first time an American has claimed that gold medal uh, at a World Cup event in luge competition, I believe, in 16 or 17 years. So, Kate, I want to begin this interview here on the Sports Train by congratulating you on your recent success and just uh, tell us how it feels as you get ready to, for the Olympics to go into this as a World Cup winner in such a prestigious event. Yeah, uh, thanks so much. Um, it's, it was a pretty crazy weekend. Um, you know, honestly, I'm just surprised. I uh, This has definitely been my best season so far, but it still hasn't been um, as consistent as I would have liked. So pulling out a gold last weekend was was pretty exciting, and a lot of people have asked if that would build any pressure for Sochi, but personally, I don't think so. Um, I'm just taking success where I can get it. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely excited for Sochi, and it definitely gives me a confidence boost going into um, going into next week as we start training. Yeah, indeed. The timing couldn't be better, and correct me if I'm wrong, you're coming off a foot injury just as recently as last fall. How has overcoming that injury affected your training routine and getting ready for the Sochi Games? Um, breaking my foot, so I broke my foot right at the beginning of the season, at the beginning of Olympic trials, and um, it definitely threw a lot of things off for me. Um, it changed a lot of my lifting schedule, so I couldn't train properly, so to speak, and um, it definitely just made sliding tough for me. And it was just difficult because I just couldn't do anything for myself. So my teammates definitely came in with the cl- came in came in the clutch for me, and they were carrying my sled, carrying my bag everywhere. And it was it was tough, but I just had to act like nothing happened and just had to keep keep going down that track. And uh, thankfully, things worked out. Talking with Kate Hansen here on the sports train, picked up a recent gold medal at a World Cup event in Luge. Now she's looking to go for that gold in the Olympics. Kate, I want to backtrack just like I did with Aaron. Talk about your background in the sport because obviously you're a newer member of Team USA Luge. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, I re- in researching this, I, I see that uh, you did a little skateboarding and things like that not that long ago, and here you find yourself an Olympic athlete competing at the highest level in the world. Talk to us about how you came to the sport of luge and how that journey has been that leads you to Sochi. Um, so it's a pretty similar story to Aaron. Um, they do those clinics, and they travel around America, and they came to Long Beach, California. And I'm from um, right outside Los Angeles, and so m- my dad had heard about this clinic, and I had grown up surfing and skateboarding, and he kind of thought there'd be a connection, I guess. And so I went, and I tried out, and um, I went through the whole process of trying to make a team, and um, it took a couple years to finally make the development team, but um, since then, you know, it's just been an awesome experience and just been trying my hardest just to make it to the Olympics and just grateful that it worked out. Now let's talk about expectations. I, I built you up, of course, rightfully so, claiming that gold medal at the World Cup event, but I know you must realize that luge is a sport 
that the United States has never claimed gold medal, a, a field traditionally dominated by Germans and Austrians and those countries of, of middle Europe uh, that grew up doing this. And you come to this, your first games, you don't know any better, right? So talk to me about uh, how it feels to carry these expectations that maybe America has a shot to sit atop that podium uh, in this coming Sochi games. You know, I think, um, yeah, I think there some people could say there are a lot of expectations, but I know as for me and my teammates, um, personally, I don't really feel them, and I can't speak for my teammates, but we all seem, um, we're, we don't, we're not too stressed. We're just trying to enjoy the ride, and um, I think I think if we're all at the top of our game for these Olympics, I think that we could have some pretty good results. So I think we're just excited um, to get on the Sochi track and, um, it's it's exciting because it's not necessarily a German track, and the Germans are very dominant on their home tracks, and so um, it should really even out the playing field for us. So we're all just excited just to show them what we got. And, Kate, I want to ask you about those training routines. Uh, you mentioned a little while ago how you lift and, and how your foot injury uh, affected that. But when you're competing at full speed, uh, for outsiders to this sport, talk to us about how often you get on that sled and you tackle those courses. Is this something you do uh, you know, every day of, of every day of the year, or is it something you do periodically during certain schedules uh, that you get in competition? Um, that's a good question. So we, the tracks don't get ice on them until about October. So from October to March, we're pretty much on the track on ice every single day, minus travel days. But yeah, we are we are at the track every day, and even when we're not fighting, we are most likely still at the track watching other athletes slide. So from October to March, we it's almost like we live at the track. We just never leave. But in terms of spring summer, um, we still will train on the track without ice, and we just take the same sleds with wheels on them, and we still are are at the track actually. So. Yeah, I guess year-round we're, we're there all the time. And I guess you could say, you know, we might as well just live there. But, yeah, for the people that don't know about the sport, we um, we dedicate a lot to the sport and we, we sacrifice a lot. And a lot of our time just goes into making ourselves better. Talking with Kate Hansen, uh, USA Luge. You can find out more information about the sport. Go to their website, usaluge.org. And, of course, tune in on February 11th uh, here when the broadcast will happen from Sochi of the women's singles event. Kate, a few more questions here on the sports train. It's great talking with you from France as you prepare for the games in a couple of weeks' time. I want to ask you uh, the same question I asked Erin, but with a different perspective. Erin, this is her third game, so obviously she knows what's involved in the, the opening ceremonies, the closing ceremonies, uh, living in a, a dormitory-style environment for those couple of weeks you're going to be new to this. Uh, give us your perspective on what it feels not only to compete at your sport's highest level, but also represent the country of the United States. We love seeing our athletes thrive in the Olympic Games. What does that feel like as you get ready for those opening ceremonies in a couple of weeks? I mean, I'm just excited. I think um, with the, our season just ended this past weekend, so we've been pretty focused and pretty busy on just um, racing in our World Cups. But now that it's all over, I'm just I'm getting really excited, and it's going to be a lot of fun, um, not only just to be with my teammates, but to be with all of the American teammates. And um, it's, it's always cool, you know, when we're traveling and we see other um, American athletes on tour, but now we're actually all going to be together, and we're – I, I mean, for me, I'm really just going to feel unified, and it's just going to be—it's just going to be a really cool experience. And I'm just going to try and take it all in. Hopefully, you know, <laughs> video everything I can, and really just enjoy the the opening ceremonies experience, which will most likely just be me crying. But um, I'm just—it's just going to be a crazy ride, and I can't wait for it. Well, great answer, honest. And last question, Kate. I want to follow up on that. Uh, take us into the life of an Olympic athlete. You're doing this for the first time. Uh, do you have friends and family making the trip over there? They're going to be viewing and watching parties in, in your native California. How are, not only are you preparing for the event, but your, your family, your support base, how are they gearing up to root you to that Olympic gold in Sochi? I mean, everyone's families make, 
make big plans, right? But um, for me personally, my my parents and my siblings will be coming to Russia. Um, as for hometown parties, uh, my family actually runs a Mexican restaurant, so there's going to be a pretty big fiesta going on on my race day. And um, I've had a lot of hometown support, and it's just been, it's been really exciting. And as well, I go to school um, at Brigham Young University in, in Utah, and they I've heard from friends that they're also going to be throwing a pretty big event for the race day. So um, I'm just honored that so many people would be so interested in what we're doing out here. And I think it's just a really exciting time, not only for us as athletes, but for our families because they've been following us. You know, they've been there through the tears and through the blood, through the blood and through everything. And so um, I think this is just as exciting for them. Well, Kate, it's exciting for your friends, your family, and everyone here in the United States. We're rooting for you, your teammate, Aaron, to get on that podium. I want to thank you for your time today coming on the sports train. And congratulations on that World Cup gold. Now go get the next one. Thanks so much. Thanks for having us. You're very welcome. Talking with Kate Hansen and Aaron Hamlin there over in France, training for the Olympic Games in Sochi. Again, as we wrap up the show, check out the website, usaluge.org, to get information on them. And women's singles in the sport of luge from the Sochi Olympics will be on February 11th.